I am meh at this Yuga Labs Dookie Dash NFT game. But luckily I'm surrounded by some of the best players playing this game within the top 100 with consistent scores from 200 and just recently breaking into the 500,000 range. And this is also what I've compiled from doing a bunch of research, watching big streamers. So let's dive into the game and what I found. Quickly, what is Dookie Dash? It's Yuga Lab's online game where players dive into the sewers to avoid obstacles, gather fragments, and record their highest scores. Yuga Labs is the creator of Board Ape Yacht Club, NFT collection where the minimum price currently sits at over $100,000. The high score will be rewarded with a coveted one of one golden key that will definitely be worth a lot of money. Here's tips to improve your score inside Doogie Dash is improve your game mechanics. First, beginning movement, learning to simply avoid obstacles and move around. This tip is simple, but try not to block your vision by staying in the middle unless you have to. This allows you to have better vision to see what's coming down the line, but there's going to be times where you are going to have to stay in the middle so that you make it easier for you to react when you're going through obstacles and you're going through stuff blind. So another tip that helped me improve was one that I took from how I improved in fighting games like Super Smash Brothers or Super Street Fighter is to not focus on your character but your opponent which surprisingly applies here too. In this case your opponent is the environment. It's looking ahead, it's looking around your character and do dash for everything you need to react to. This is only once you get comfortable with controlling your movement because you can see what is coming and be able to predict especially when things start to get extremely fast. Experiment with your mouse sensitivity as you get better. The higher your mouse sensitivity, the easier it is to react and move faster, but it is also harder to control. Most of the top players I've talked to and been watching are using a gaming mouse but this comes down to preference after watching the different discussions from some of the top players who are inside the 300 400 and 500 000 range is that the mouse sensitivity depends on the player on a gaming mouse the setting for mouse sensitivity is also known as dpi or dots per inch where the higher the dpi the faster your mouse moves across the screen these players are playing anywhere from 2000 to 4800 to as low as 700 dpi my highest score i achieved from 2500 to 4800 so it really does depend next you want to practice the harder sewer patterns and obstacles that consistently kill you after watching a lot of live streams and videos here are some of the patterns that give players trouble dashing through obstacles multiple wood sections that you have to break and learning the timing behind that multiple fan sections with grates blocking the entrances or a mix of the both wood sections with fan sections right after and then intersecting those in different types of sequences you'll notice a pattern of what kills you the most and each time you die come up with a single new thing to try differently try it keep adapting try new things until you're able to clear it you want to just keep improving one percent and then just keep adding those one percent improvements and then it becomes a bigger skill set for you to improve your score another important mechanic is practice the timing for moving through fans not only will it help to know how to enter a fan from the top the bottom the left or the right sides you want to also look ahead and see the fan if it has any blocked exits so that you can enter from any of those sides because you're going to see it randomly everywhere. And then you want to also learn how to time your dashes through a fan in all sides as well. So this is just another one of those skill mechanics that you're going to want to know so that when things get faster or when you have to dash through it because there's clutter in the way, you can be ready. Which brings me to a very important mechanic in the game, which is dashing. A single click will make you dash, which boosts up your speed and distance covered. I used to double click and this was causing me to die a lot because it was inefficient movement and it was also registering multiple clicks. One thing that improved my score right away was just making sure I only single click and not panic. 
Dashing is also important because it pushes obstacles away. And if you don't dash through these obstacles, they will potentially fling you, changing your path and potentially causing you to die. But if you dash into obstacles, these objects that you can push, you will not only push them away, but you also score 400 points for each obstacle that you dash through. This is another mechanic that is important for increasing your score, especially in the beginning, is dashing through as many objects as you can and making sure that you collect those points before things get too fast. Wood sections can be broken with the dash and will also score you 400 points each time that you do. So don't skip them if you can help it. And then help with practicing those dash mechanics. You want to practice dashing early in the middle and practice dashing late through the wood. This will help you gauge the different reaction times that you're going to need when you get to different parts of the game. I found it easier to dash earlier and break through the wood with the end of the dash. So it's easier for me to react and to see what's after. And I also found this has helped me to clear those multiple sections of wood that are back to back, three, even up to four or more, which used to give me a hard time. One of the other tips that gives players some trouble is the obstacles that kill you right after you dash through the wood. So one of the things you want to do as a tip is you want to look through the wood to see if there's any potential obstacles in front that could kill you. And then if you're going through it blind where you can break through the middle if you're unsure what is on the other side, because it's easier to dash from the middle and avoid anything that's potentially in front of you than it is from one of the other sides. And another way for you to improve your mechanics is by watching a lot of great players and then mimicking what they're doing. The easiest thing to do is look up hashtag Dookie Dash on Twitter and then you can find a lot of people that are playing the game that have high scores. Try different setups to see what works best with you. I've seen different people connect their controllers, play on their iPads, rotate their screens to the vertical, or have the traditional setup of using a gaming mouse, but try different placements of where you place your hand and how you control your movement to see what works best for you. Understand the scoring system. The better that you understand the scoring system, the easier it is to score a higher score. So you go through the game and you're going to be collecting these different fragments that are glowing, but all of their different colors mean different points. So gray is common, which is 300 points. Green is going to be uncommon, which is 500. Blue is rare. That's a thousand. Purple is epic, 1500. And then gold is going to be legendary fragment at 2000 score. So the next score is the obstacle score, which a lot of people don't realize at first. So breaking wood gives you 400. Dashing through objects gives you 400. These objects are going to be the larger objects, so like phone booths, cows, Christmas trees, wheelbarrows, file cabinets, and other items. And if you're ever confused, you can just see you collect the points when you go through the item. So then you'll know which items give you those points. The sewer pass tiers also give special bonuses from the tier four giving 30%, tier three, 20%, tier two, 10% and tier one, no bonus. Ape coin shark pack bonuses, which you pay two ape coin and then you get 15% bonuses that stack on the super pass bonuses. That's also how people are getting high scores consistently. If you have the money, the power shark power packs are worth it, not only because of the 15% bonus modifier, which is huge, but also the gold digger bonus spawns more and higher rarity fragments, which makes a huge difference. I've, other thing that is important with this power sharp bonus is the double dash bonus. The double dash bonus cuts your dash recovery in half. Your dash recovers when you dash through an obstacle or when you dash through wood. And then so you'll have it again to use. But if you miss or you hit an incorrect item that doesn't give you that bonus or that recovery, then you lose your recovery. So if you look at the back of your character, you'll see a green circle and that will show you that it's recharging. If it's not full, then you won't be able to use your dash. You'll also hear an audio cue that it's back and that you can use it again. So be very careful with trying to dash through objects to get bonus points, but the power pack boost will allow you to cut this dash recovery in half. So the general strategy of talking to all these players and watching all of them, and the general strategy is collect as many fragments as you can that aren't going to kill you and that are easy to get. You're gonna dash into as many objects as you can in the beginning to speed things up and also to get more points 
point, but still be safe while doing it. The further you travel, the faster the game will get. And at the faster stages, what you're trying to do is just survive the speeds while trying to pick up fragments if they don't risk you dying. What's crazy is some of the top players can still manage dashing through objects, but most just focus on not dying. So this next tip is one of the reasons why extreme sports still continually break human boundaries and continually to push their sport into the stratosphere. There's been a few books written about this, but it's getting into flow state. So flow state is described as something being completely absorbed into something where you have utter focus. It's where psychologists refer to this as flow. When you're in flow state, everything becomes natural and it becomes easier. This is why athletes in general you'll see get into this state. It's where you'll see NBA players just hit all their shots. Top tier extreme athletes go on their Olympic runs and hit everything, including things that they've never hit before. This is also one of those things that is needed for improving inside these video games. So get into a better environment, anything that helps you get into the zone. You want to cut distractions, you can change your music. And in the beginning, your practices will eventually warm you up where you can start feeling in the zone and getting better, improving based off of that. Last is perfect practice makes perfect. So in League of Legends, when you're playing League of Legends, to get better at ranked and just get better at the game overall, a common strategy is to watch replays of your games and analyze how you improve. This is called VOD reviews, video reviews. So what you wanna do is download a free screen capturing software like OBS. And what you wanna do is record your runs of Doogie Dash so that you can have intentional practice to improve faster and more efficiently. So what did you do well? Why did you die and how can you improve? And then what are you going to work on and practice next? The biggest thing about this, especially if you have more time to practice, if you have less time, what you wanna do is identify all of the different problems that you're having and then think about what skills can I learn or what can I improve on that will fix 80% of this? What is the 20% that I can learn and improve on to increase my 80% output to get a better score? Narrow that down and you're going to have to experiment to actually understand what that is and then create a plan of growth and getting better. So this does sound like a lot and it is, but your practice will pay off because this is directly tied to the mint. So good luck. And as always, take care, talk soon, and I'll see you in the next video.